viewers and welcome back to my channel. This is class number 7 of my mental math video series. Today I will teach you single digit multiplication tricks. In the previous classes we have done many addition and subtraction tricks and I thought it was high time that we focus on multiplication now. So let's begin. Before starting multiplication we need to know what is multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition. But what do we mean by repeated addition? When the same number is added Again and again, this is called repeated addition. So for example, we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Now we have 4 groups with 3 in them. And we can also write it as 4 groups of 3. That is 4 multiplied by 3. The next thing that is taught is that the order doesn't matter when we are writing the multiplication expression. So 4 multiplied by 3 is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 4. We will arrive at the same answer when we solve these expressions. And this is how it is taught to children too. Once we know that 4 multiplied by 3 and 3 multiplied by 4 is the same thing, we come to the actual answers of these expressions. That is, this is equal to 12 and we have to start learning these multiplication facts. Remember that learning these multiplication facts is super important for improving your mental math because you cannot do multiplication for larger numbers, you cannot solve percentages in your brain until you learn these multiplication facts, especially focusing on single digit numbers that is from 2 to 9. Now we normally learn these multiplication facts of a number, for example, 2 till 10. For example, 2 multiplied by 1, 2 multiplied by 2, and so on till 2 multiplied by 10. And this is called a times table. So I will tell you how you can learn these times tables. I will teach you some tricks. So we always start with times table of 2. And first thing that you have to remember is that you have to start learning these numbers where we are counting in twos 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on until 20 and you should be able to say it very fast. Another trick is that they're all even numbers so basically you're just saying the even numbers. Once you can say them really really fast 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on then it is related to the actual multiplication fact that 2 is the answer to 2 multiplied by 1, 4 is the answer to to 2 times 2, 6 is the answer to 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is a short way of saying 2 multiplied by 3. So you have to start linking these even numbers to the actual multiplication expressions and this is how you learn the table of 2. So is the case with the table of 3 that is you skip count in 3's, start saying them very very quickly 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and then relate them to the actual multiplication expressions. Three multiplied by 1 is 3, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and so on and 4 is exactly the same. Now 5 is especially easier. Let's look at it. When we count in 5s we get 5, 10, 15, 20 and if we look at these all the numbers have a 5 or a 0 on the 1s place and if we start relating them to the actual multiplication expressions that is 5 multiplied by 1, 5 multiplied by 2 and so on we will observe a pattern. We will see that whenever 5 is multiplied by an even number, 2 and 4 are even, we have a 0 in the 1's place. So 10 and 20. And whenever 5 is multiplied by an odd number, 1 and 3 are odd, we have a 5 in the 1's place. And so it becomes easier to remember that whenever we are multiplying 5 by an even number, there should be a zero in the ones place and whenever we are multiplying five by an odd number there should be a five in the ones place. So these tricks help in remembering the table of five. So let's sum it up. How do we learn the tables of two, three, four and five? We first learn the skip count sequence two, four, six, eight, ten in the case of table of two, three, six, nine, twelve in the case of table of three, four, eight, twelve, and so on for the table of 4 and 5, 10, 15, 20 till 50 for the table of 5. Then we associate it with the actual expressions and this way we learn it. What are we left with? We are left with 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now 6, 7, 8, remember that we already know that 
5 multiplied by 6 is 30 because we have learned the table of 5. So we also know the answer of 6 multiplied by 5 which is also 30. So we are left with a few multiplication facts but before doing that let's go on the table of 9 because the table of 9 is super interesting. First write down the numbers from 0 to 9 like this. Just adjacent to these numbers do backward counting from 9 to 0. This is the table of 9. Now you must be thinking that how is that possible? Look 9 multiplied by 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27. You can clearly see the link that this is the table of 9. So you can simply arrive at the table of 9 by writing the numbers from 0 to 9 in the tens place and in the ones place you just do backward counting from 9 to 0. Another thing that you will observe is that if you look at any answer for example 9 threesa is 27 and 7 plus 2 is 9. All of these answers when you add up the digits the sum is 9. 9 times 2 is 18, 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36 and 3 plus 6 is 9. And another thing you will observe is that whenever you are multiplying 9 by a single digit number the answer in the tens place is 1 minus the number you are multiplying 9 with. For example 9 times 4 is 36. Now 3 in the tens place is 4 minus 1. You were multiplying 9 by 4. These two things that is when you add the two digits in the answer you get 9 and the number you are multiplying it you subtract a 1 from it and it will come in the tens place will give you the answer to the table of 9 in your brain. For example we have 9 multiplied by 8. Now simply subtract a 1 from 8 to get a 7. And now what do we add to 7 to get the answer 9? 2. Single digit addition at work here. So I just got this answer without even learning the table of 9. 9 times 6. Subtract a 1 from 6 to get a 5. Okay we need to add a 4 to 5 to get 9. Wasn't it a cool trick? I hope you like this trick. Now what are we left with? We are left with some multiplication facts of the table of 6, 7 and 8. So let's have a look at what is left to be learned. Now look at these boxes. First let's fill them up. For example 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. So you have to learn these multiplication facts. There's no easy way about it. You have to learn these remaining multiplication facts. And I would advise that you start with 6 times 6, 7 times 7 and 8 times 8. Now what are we left with? We are only left with 3 more multiplication facts. Remember the order doesn't matter in multiplication. 6 times 7 is 42 and so is 7 times 6. 6 times 8 is 48 and so is 8 times 6. 8 times 7 is 56 and so is 7 times 8. So just learn these remaining multiplication facts and then you're done. You know your tables from 2 to 9 but it requires practice. I will tell you how you can practice it. One way of practicing it is by using multiplication flashcards. But what are flashcards? In flashcards we have the expression or the question on one side and we have the answer on the other side. So you quickly flash three times two in front of your eyes on one side of the paper, a card, and you try to answer the question. And if you don't know the answer, just turn the card back and you can look at the answer and so on and so forth. Cut the paper out and make those cards for all the tables and just mix them up. In the beginning, start with the table of two, then add the table of three to it and so on. And you will get better at your multiplication facts. You can use my mental math app. I've already told you about it. It is 100% free available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. And I also have a special app for just learning the multiplication tables. It is basically inspired from the paper based multiplication flashcards. And the creative thing about that app is that First of all, it is 100% free, but that is not creative. The creative thing about this app is that you can speak the answer. That is, you can go hands-free, you don't have to type in the answer or use the touch screen keyboard, just speak the answer. Let's look at a demo of my multiplication flashcards app. You can hear the question and speak the answer. First choose the tables and start answering. 
two times seven. Fourteen. Correct. Two times six. Twelve. Correct. Three times five. Fifteen. Correct. Two times eight. Fourteen. Wrong. The correct answer is sixteen. Three times seven. Eighteen. Wrong. The correct answer is twenty. One. So you can easily download my multiplication flashcards app from Google Play Store, and you can practice your multiplication facts using my free mental maths app or my multiplication flashcards app or worksheets or paper-based flashcards. I hope you like this class. Do share it with your friends and family. All my classes, mental math, coding, and now app development are 100% free. In my next class, I will teach you some other mental math trick. Thank you for watching my class. Have a good day. Goodbye.